What's going on, y'all? I want to show you the save to a new folder feature in Studio One and show you how it can be really handy for keeping things organized, especially if you're moving sessions around or if you want to continue to work on a session, but you don't want to mess up anything that you have going on. So for the example I have here, I've got this mix up here, and this is the actual session from the mix that I've done for this song. I'm taking this session to the studio today because we're doing some... Uh, making a remix for it essentially and I don't want to mess up the mix that I have here but I want to be able to take this to the studio and do what we need to do for the remix and then incorporate that back into my mix session and so the easiest way to do that using studio one is to save to a new folder feature and this is nothing unique I mean in Pro Tools it's essentially the same thing as uh, save a copy in but under file You've got save to a new folder, and I'm going to, so instead of mix 1.8, I'm just going to give this the date for today, which I think is the 14th, or the 15th, okay. And I'm just going to save this inside of the folder with the rest of the sessions and over the rest of the files I should say and you can do this into other file formats but I'm gonna keep the studio one all right so we'll let that save and so while that's doing that so yeah again I'm taking this down to the studio and like I said I don't want to mess up the mix that I have here because what we do for the remix I'm going to pull that back and integrate it into parts of this mix that I have going on here. So this allows me to keep a separate file, whole separate session, totally separate from everything that I've done in the mix. And you'll see here once this finishes, some other things that I'm going to go ahead and do. Okay, so now it has, you can see, it's now renamed my session, what I named it as uh, the session the song title and the date and if we right click up here we can see the file path and it is inside of the same folder that the rest of my sessions so now what I'm going to proceed to do is because I'm taking this to the studio I don't have all of these third-party plugins that I used so all of the like this uh, waves ships I'm just going to remove the third party plugin so they don't give me any problems when I get to the studio today. And it's a waves one. Okay, and there we go. Oh, we got some reverb. And done. Save that. And now I can copy this folder to my flash drive, take it to the studio, use it there fine, and bring it back, move it into my mix. So that's save a save to a new folder in Studio One. And again, really helpful if you're moving sessions around or if you want to continue to work on something or do something different with a session without messing up what you already have going on. All right, uh, any questions, comments, let me know, and I'll catch y'all next time. I want to invite everyone to check out my new podcast, The Faders Up Podcast. It's a podcast about pro audio. I've got me and three other Nashville professionals. We're discussing pro audio, pro audio topics, pro audio lifestyle. And it's available on Apple Podcasts and it's available on Spotify. So check it out, rate it, let me know what you think.